guys welcome back to my channel and if you're welcome my name is zoe but most people know me as ZA reptiles here and on instagram and the day has finally come i finally finished the new enclosures i don't want to show you too much yet um so today i'm gonna be showing you all the clips that i've taken over the past couple months building these enclosures it's been a long time it is now september we started these in like april or may so it has been a very very long process but along the way I've taken little video clips and whatnot and so I'm gonna throw them all together and try to kind of explain or show you guys how we made them um, most of it was my dad I'll be completely honest using whatever cutting tools and power tools to cut the wood and put it all together um, so I can't explain too much but I can show you what I've got and kind of walk you through my thought process I guess so without further ado let's rewind all the way back to like april <laughs> so here are my blueprints i'm working with it's for a four by two by two enclosure and i made some adjustments based on what i wanted and i used a sheet of birch plywood and that's just my dad cutting it so i used these scrap pieces to figure out what i wanted to do on the enclosures i knew i wanted like a gray and white wash um, on the front so I was going to use a stain, but I didn't feel like it. So I was trying to figure out how to do it with paint. And this is exactly what I want. I did this on accident though, so we'll see if I can recreate it on the enclosures. But yeah, so it's like kind of like a rustic farmhouse kind of look. Love it. Cutting, we've got one, two, three, and four is over there. Okay, so after we cut all the pieces, we cut the holes for the vents. My dad just used this little jigsaw type of thing or bobber and cut around. He also made a frame just so they would all be the same size and equal. Now this is where I do things differently. So once the enclosures were all put together, I went and siliconed the inside with the clear silicone. What I should have done was paint first because this particular silicone um is not paintable so i should have painted first and then siliconed but lesson learned and then to seal the inside i did several layers of this white dry lock the enclosure is going to be white so i got white dry lock right at home depot all right so today's the day we're finally going to get around to painting i've done some of the inside um but we're finally going to paint the outside so i've got here um a zero voc paint which means that it is going to be reptile safe so a lot of people recommend using this if you're painting the inside of the enclosure um i'm using it on the outside i could probably get away with using normal paint on the outside but i'd rather be safe than sorry and use what i know is safe so I got a zero VOC paint. This came right from Home Depot. The color is eggshell. Um, and I'm gonna use this on the outside. All right, so the way I'm doing my enclosure is a little different than usual. I'm not just painting it all white. Um, I wanted to do something fun. And I've never seen anyone do this before. So I'm taping off these front pieces. The whole thing's gonna be white, but these front pieces are going to be like a whitewash with like gray mixed in so it's gonna be more like a kind of modern farmhouse look so i'm really excited to see how it turns out so since we're doing the white paint right now we're taping off the front pieces because this is going to be a white wash so i don't want this to be a solid white So I'm doing the whitewashing on the enclosures now and I didn't record this part just because I have to go really quick. Basically I painted this white and wiped over it with a wet paper towel to kind of give it that washed look and then I dry brushed gray paint just real quick little strokes across it and then took a wet paper towel and smudged it and that is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go around the edges with white paint again, just so it's clean. But, yeah. So 
So to cover my clear silicone mess since I couldn't paint over it, I got white silicone to cover it so it matched the background. Okay. And then we went ahead and screwed on all the vents. So I forgot to film the tracks, but I painted them blue because they were ugly brown. And then I used Gorilla Glue and these clamps to put them on. All right, and now we're to modern day. So this was this past week and we put the lights on. I wanted lights to go out the back, but then forgot and put backgrounds on all the tanks. So we did it on the ceiling by drilling a hole that all the cords could go through and then attaching the lights. So this is an Arcadia fixture and the hole on the ceiling is underneath it. So all of the cords go through that hole. So I've got um, the Arcadia fixture for the heat and then you've got the UVB and then I have a fixture for plant lights. And then just the other day, we finally got around to cutting the acrylic for the doors. I just used a sheet of acrylic I got right at Home Depot. And then here I am putting on the very, very, very last door before bringing the enclosures upstairs. This was like the best moment because it meant they were finally done. Okay, today's the day. I look super, super trashy. I'm not sweating. I just washed my face because we cut the acrylic and I just, I feel really gross. But, started moving things. So the fat tails and rumple have been moved off of here. I'm gonna go get bins to pack up Samoa and Kronk so we can move their enclosures. The new four by two by twos will go here and these guys will go over here behind the door. So I just gotta grab a vacuum, vacuum the floor, and we're gonna start moving things. All right, all cleaned and vacuumed. Enclosures are out of the way. Back here is all vacuumed and ready to go. Time to do it. Okay, so for the door handles, I got these little pop sockets from Sheen. They're like a dollar a piece. The little flowers, the little metal hook. If it turns, there we go. So, yeah, pretty cute. We're gonna stick them on. Nice and easy to move. So yeah, those are the new enclosures. Again, I'll show you too much. I'm going to be doing individual videos for each animal, showing you how I did their background, how I set it up and everything. Hi, Arcadius. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna show you each enclosure for each animal, how I set it up, what substrates I use, how I decorate it, yada, 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 and then show you the animals going into them. So there's me at four videos like that. This one was just showing you the building process and putting them together. So if you guys liked them, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you build your own closures, whatever you want to leave, leave a comment. <laughs> and as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss the individual enclosure videos because I'm super proud of them. I love how they turned out and I can't wait to show you guys. And yeah, so as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.